Hey, what's up? My name's Tony. I'm Robbie from Godsmack, and you're watching Loud Wire. Well, when he came in with the thought, he says, hey, I want to do this um, thing about the band, and I got these lyrics. And then um, we had written a bunch of stuff, and then he's, as a joke, he goes, you know what, I'm going to go write a song. And then 30 minutes later, he had that riff, do, 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 and then he had that spark, and then next thing you know, and all, within an hour or two, the music was pretty much done, and he already had the, most of, he had the, most of the lyrics in line. Um, you know, he'd get some help from us with some little lyrics here and there, and Shannon really helped him out a lot. And then he'd go home, and the next day he'd come back and start singing it, and within a month, he, it was just good. We knew it was good. It was so good that we started fighting about what singles what. I think he was influenced by some of the demo work me and Shannon had done. We gave him some punk stuff that me and Shannon, Shannon was in a punk band before, so we had, were experimenting with faster grooves and stuff. And a couple of the songs that we demoed for Sully had faster punk grooves in them. And uh, I think it influenced him because when he wrote that song, it was almost, it was the same tempo as something me and Shannon had already wrote. And um, I had a verse riff in our song that he ended up putting in 1,000 horsepower to get it, get it up part in the middle eighth part was a riff from the previous song that we had written. So, uh, you know, it, it's just from, it was months ago, so he probably heard it and maybe, you know, it got in his head and he made his own version of, of that type of a song, you know. That was another one Sully wrote. That was his yeah. song. He wrote everything. It's, it's funny, because we, we'd spent two years writing a bunch of stuff and I'd fly to Florida and these guys, Channing and Tony, would send me demos. I'd go learn it, go there, record it. And then he shows up and just bam, this one comes out, that one comes out, Generation Day comes out. So he was on a, a roll. And when he's on a roll, whenever it happens, you just let him do it because you don't know when the roll is going to end. Um, and again, that one was very, he was thinking about the old, the old school um, generation with analog versus digital. And then he had that thought. He started writing lyrics down. So, uh, Shannon helped him with that. And then, um, you know, we're, we're old school, we're the vinyl guys, we're record guys. We've, I, whenever I say a new record, I always say it's new records coming out, I don't say new CDs coming out. So um, he had that vision of that, and again, uh, to me, it's a little bit different. It's, uh, you know, it's not, to me, it's a little, I don't know if it's alternative, maybe Foo Fighters, I don't know. It's a little different. Hopefully we don't screw up our fans by trying to throw some stuff like that, but it's unique, it's spontaneous, you know, it's, it was on the spot when he wrote it. <laughs> I think whenever you have something and it goes away, you know, you wait 20 years, 25 years, and it's going to come back because um, when you have something, you don't want it. When you don't have it, you want it. So, and, and vinyl, when it comes to analog, this, that's the, that's so warm, the sound of it, that, that type thing, and coming from the, the digital era, and then you go back to, to um, vinyl, people are starting to realize how much you're missing out of, out of, out of, out of the digital stuff. That's my opinion. And it's bigger. Yeah. You get more to get more for your dog. And you got to be really careful because you can scratch the record. You, you don't want to do that. You be precise. <laughs> and you can clean your pot on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's next is probably one of my favorites. It moves, and it, when I play it, it moves my body. So I can't wait to play that one. Um, Locked and loaded. Just got the record. That's a good one. That's heavy. That's that's Shannon and Tony wrote that. And that thing, I can't wait to play that. That's a heavy one. <laughs> 